Hi, my name is Aaron Nelson. Welcome to my reflection video for my Master in Educational Technology degree. In this video, I will tell you about myself. I will also explain why I decided to pursue this program. I will also showcase a few of my artifacts that show that I accomplished the standards set forth by the Association for Educational Communications and Technologies. To conclude, I will reflect on a few of my favorite classes and experiences and lessons I learned while in the program here at Boise State University. I decided to pursue an MET degree for several reasons. While in the School of Library and Information Management uh, degree at Emporia State University, I realized that libraries are the future of educational technology. Web creation, interactive modules, gaming, multimedia, social media, and other uh, technologies are used within libraries. Libraries are no longer just about books. Instead, we have fully embraced the technology revolution and are ready to implement it into our communities. For this reason, I'm a blended librarian. So what is a blended librarian, a few of you might be asking. I will give you a good definition. A blended librarian is an academic librarian who combines the traditional skill set of librarianship with the information technologist's hardware, software skills, and the instructional or educational designer's ability to apply technology appropriately in the teaching learning process. After receiving this degree, I will be a blended librarian. I had many favorite classes while at Boise State. Here are a couple of them. EdTech 532 and EdTech 512. EdTech 532 was very fun. I got to meet with other students and my professor every night on Wednesday. During this time, we uh, got to explore different gaming processes and theories. I felt that it was a class where I got to know other students the best, and for this reason, I really liked it. Also, it was something new for me, as I really wasn't a gamer before this class, but afterwards, uh, you know, Dr. Haskell sold me on um, a, a lot of the... Uh, theories and a lot of uh, the gaming ideas that, that he has, and I thought it was just a really brilliant class. I also liked EdTech 512, which I'm currently in, and I'm glad I saved this class till the end because there's so many technologies that I'm able to implement into my online course that I'm building, and I really feel that this online course that I have is going to be superb because of all of the um, stuff that I've learned before it. And some other memorable experiences that I had were my YouTube channel, as I really became a big proponent of YouTube while um, attending Boise State. I felt like um, a lot of instruction can be transferred through YouTube, and I just thought it was just a perfect medium to use. I also was grateful for my evaluation class. Um, this class, I will admit, was very tough for me because it really kept me on my toes. But um, I, I'm grateful because I, I really look at technology different after this course. I think I evaluate courses better. I think I'm in a better evaluator total um, because of this course, and I'm very grateful for that. Um, also, I felt that my web creation class right at the beginning, 502, was very, very good. And as you can see on my right, uh, you know, here's a website that is, uh, or a web page that is still up. And I'm uh, grateful for that experience because it's a, a uh, tool and an experience that is very useful in today's community. And a lot of people are wanting to know how to do this. And so I'm, I'm grateful that I can 
leave this program and say, hey, I know how to, I know how to code. If there's some other advice that I would uh, give an incoming graduate, this is what it would be. For f the first thing I would say is I would say don't try to learn every single piece of technology. What I've learned is that's an impossible task to do. I felt like when I first got into the program that I had to know it all, and I quickly learned that there's not enough time in a lifetime to learn um, all of the new technologies that are coming out. My suggestion would be to pick a few classes and then become experts within uh, those few class or those few technologies. You can definitely make a course using a limited number of technologies. Uh, that's what I've found. Also, I would suggest that you try something new. As I mentioned before, in the EdTech 532 class, I never thought I'd be in a uh, gaming class, but I absolutely loved it and I absolutely uh, saw the relevance of it in education. And so, yeah, definitely uh, I would try something, um, something uh, out of your norm. Also, have fun. I think that, uh, you know, this is a degree where you have lots of fun, so you might as well uh, enjoy it, enjoy your time that you have, um, because it'll be over before you know it. Uh, you know, so in conclusion, um, you know, I feel like the proof is in the pudding as far as my work goes. I feel like, uh, you know, I'm able to showcase my artifacts that I have and to be proud of them. And I also feel like I can go forward um, in the future and in any job that I have and I can uh, be, be a leader and, uh, and I'll know what I'm talking about when, uh, um, when it comes to some specified uh, numbers of uh, technology. I also found that it's important that you need to learn to know when to step back as far as, uh, as, far as um, management, as far as a lot of um, other technologies go as well because the, the fact is, is you don't know everything. Um, you know, sometimes I think in this field that you have to know everything but you don't have to know everything to be a, a, a success in this field. And so I felt like, um, you know, I, I received the know-how and the practice on a lot of uh, educational tools that uh, made me and um, that made me gain the expertise that I needed for uh, the ACET standards. Um, I felt like I, I learned how to manage and lead, as I mentioned before, and I also felt like I learned how to implement different technologies, um, which is important, especially in a, uh, a library community. And so my vision of libraries has greatly been enhanced and expanded since I've been in this program. And so I think the vision of libraries that I have um, is something that I'm, I'm very grateful for. And you should be, uh, I learned more about implementing technology into my career and into libraries, which is very important. I also learned that technology plays a larger role into libraries than most librarians uh, seem to think. My vision of libraries and librarians expanded and was enhanced while I was in this program, and so I'm very thankful for that. All in all, again, as I said, the proof is in the pudding, and I'm thankful for my time here. It went by really quick, too quick, I think, but again, as I would like to thank my instructors for any uh, of my fellow students that I, I learned a lot from, and I would definitely recommend this program to anyone. Thank you, and have a good day.